Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about sports and video games. Like watching sports and playing video games, right? So, and we're going to talk about how that can distract you from becoming the best version of yourself, reaching your potential. So I talk a lot on this channel about eliminating pleasures and distractions and you know mainly food uh porn addiction you know weed alcohol partying too much things of that nature but i want to specifically here in this video talk about video games and uh watching sports right so a lot of you guys whether it's basketball hockey football baseball i don't know soccer lacrosse whatever whatever you like to watch If you are too obsessed with watching uh, sports, you can easily derail yourself and distract yourself because here's the thing. The thing with sports is like, for me, as an example, I like to watch basketball. I like the Celtics, right? So uh, I used to watch like every game and they would play every other night at like 7.30, right? So, and the games are how long? What, two hours? So. You got to figure, right, if I'm watching, if they play three to four times a week, that's like six to eight hours in my week that I've just wasted, right? That I could have been, that I, like, I could have attribu uh, attributed that time to studying or uh, learning, right? But I just wasted it, right? So it can be very uh, time consuming as well, right? Like if you're trying to accomplish a goal and you're spending all this time cheering for your for a sports team that you know the players don't give a fuck about you by the way i'm, I'm here to let you know that the players don't care about you <laughs> right they appreciate your support but they don't care about you right so you're getting emotionally invested in a team in players that don't care about you and here's the thing you know what's really funny i used to go like i used to I remember like watching football and the Patriots played in the Super Bowl back in like 2010 against the Giants and they lost for the fucking second straight time. And I started crying at the end and it's like, man, I'm looking back. I mean, I was like pretty young, but still I look back and I'm like, man, that had no effect on my life whatsoever, whatsoever. Right. So sports is like, you know, here's the thing. We if our lives suck. Or if our lives are kind of like meaningless, we like we don't have anything going for us. We tend to live our lives vicariously through a sports team or or video games. But I'll talk about video games here in a minute. So we got to be careful, right? Here's the thing: the NBA, like the playoffs, the NBA playoffs are uh, going on right now, right? So. I haven't watched, I pretty much haven't watched a, a basketball game all year from October basically to mid-April, right? Um, but as a rule of thumb, like going forward for myself, uh, I'm going to watch the playoffs, right? Because I, here's the thing, man. I'm not one of these people now that is just like, you have to cut out all the fun, you know, no fun whatsoever. Nah, man, that's, that's, that's a boring life. That's a very boring life. You know, you got to enjoy life sometimes sometimes right um but as a rule of thumb i'm just gonna watch the playoffs every year because man it's just like six months right the regular season three to four times a week two hour you know eight hours a week that's a lot of time man when it, when you add up all the time spent you know that's a lot of time watching sports right and here's the thing a lot of you guys not you guys but like a lot of people they get so uh like you know they they're sports also when you watch it right a lot of people play fantasy football fantasy baseball right and that's a whole nother uh that's a whole nother like can of worms but it's like it, it, it uh it, it spills over into other things too so it's like sports is is very can be very like addictive and like mind consuming consuming right because you know if your team loses and you get upset and you feel some type of way like 
come on, like you're getting upset over something that doesn't have like literally has no effect on your life whatsoever. It doesn't affect your finances. I mean, unless you bet money, right? But it doesn't affect your finances. It doesn't affect your your career, your health, anything. It actually probably worsens your health because you're sitting down, right? But, um, you know, you got to be careful, man. Like, I, you know, I've been watching sports since, like, I was eight. Five, like, six, seven, eight, right? So, I mean, I'm going to watch it here and there, but am I going to let it consume me? Am I going to let it stop me from doing the things that I, that I need to do? No, right? And that, that's when you have to draw the line. If it's, if sports, if you watching sports is, is getting in the way of, like, your career or your school or anything like meaningful relationships then you have to you have to control it or limit it or cut it out completely right so that's sports now let's begin with video now let's talk about video games guys so video games man i, I can't tell you how many hours i've wasted on halo man uh i would say out of the two video games are more addictive right because the thing with video games is that you're in control and so when you're in control you feel like you're the one doing it, right? And you're leveling up, you're you're uh, you're you're increasing your your rank, you're getting better at the game, right? You're getting more kills in each match. So overall, you feel like your brain thinks you're doing something, right? It's like a it's like a false sense of accomplishment, right? So this is why video games are very addicting, right? Because you're leveling up and you want to keep going, right? So right now, my life in my life, I, I play video games on my days off, right? For two to three hours, maybe, right? Maybe less, um, but video games can be very distracting. And here's the thing, a lot of guys play video games and watch sports. So when you combine the two in their, in their most severe addictive sense, uh, it's, it's very debilitating and derailing, right? That's why we, that's, that's how we get distracted, right? And here's the thing, when you're not living on your purpose, you feel a, you feel a sense of like emptiness and, and void, right? You feel like there's something wrong. Like I, I mentioned in another video, like last week, I think during the pandemic, I was playing a lot. And during that time, I just, I, I felt a sense of like emptiness and existential like crisis because I knew I wasn't fulfilling my duty, right? I went like six, seven months without making a single video, right? During that time period. And that, that's just, that's just unacceptable, right? That's unacceptable. Uh, so these things need to be either, like I said, cut out completely for a limited amount of time until you get a grip on it or they have to be put in their place meaning like for me i only watch i only watch sports during the playoffs or i only play video games on weekends on my days off right like it can't be an everyday type of thing it can be if you don't care about going places in life but if you care about uh achieving success in any regard these things will distract you and they are very good at distracting you right now there's many other distractions but like i've mentioned here uh these are so, these are more subtle distractions right because here's the thing like video games and, and sports doesn't really like uh take like the life force out of you like food and and like drug addiction and pornography but it's like a mental distraction basically because here's the thing what i've noticed during my like hardcore video game phase when you play a lot and you're you have friends online and you're playing against other teams you're you're like a competitive player or you're just you're addicted to something getting higher gamer score leveling up the problem is is that you start to think about this all the time and uh when you keep thinking about something you're going to keep wanting to do it right so if i think about the gym a lot or i think about making videos or learning i'm going to want to do those things but if i think about what who i'm going to play with tonight on halo or who, who how i'm going to level up or you know what what the the score of the game's going to be for basketball like i, I, I 
I'm going to want to do those things, right? And when you do those things over and over again, you create a mental framework. You pro you're basically programming your mind to keep wanting those things, to keep wanting to watch sports or play video games, right? Because like I said, I remember back when I was playing like Halo a lot, a lot, a lot, there would be, I would basically think about playing all day, right? Like I'd be at work and I'm thinking about uh, who I'm going to play with tonight or, or who I'm going to match or what what uh what players i can get on my team etc right like all this all this stuff and when you're when your consciousness is uh your your mind is just like completely focused on that there's no room for ideas or like there's no room for other things right like if you're if your cup is full of video games sports etc there's no room for success, learning, uh, health, you know, the gym, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, so that's kind of that's kind of that. Uh, like I said, put them in their place. I'm not saying you have to cut it out completely, but in some sense, right? For some people, if they're very addicted, like if they've been watching sports forever, every day for years, or they, like I said, been playing. Like, for example, that's what I had to do, right? I had to sell my console back in 2017 because at that time I needed to, you know, I had to get my license, I had to get a job, and I knew I wasn't going to be able to do that if I was playing video games because I would just be lazy. I know how I am. I, I just I just won't do it, right? It's that simple. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you have to cut it out, sell your console, do it, right? I'm not saying quit forever but if you have to do that for six months a year and then come back and maybe you know you're more uh disciplined about uh you know playing then do that but like for me i had to i had to, i sold my xbox back in 2017 and i didn't get another one till like i sold it in spring of 2017 and i didn't get another one till fall of 2019 so almost three years two and a half years basically without playing any games it's a long time that is a long time and now that i like that i've done that like i i i realized like during that time i realized you know going through that phase without playing i realized that there's so there's so much more uh meaning to life than just um you know indulging in in these you know games and whatever sports because at that time i was i was watching sports a lot too right every night every tuesday every thursday whatever celtics are on i'm watching them two and a half hours goodbye right and if they lose i'm upset and it's just like dude like at the end i, I felt like man what the fuck was that all about you know so these things can be very distracting uh and you have to know how to control them or they will control you so that's it for that one guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave them down below and as always i hope you guys have a good one peace